I was actually thinking of adding the Thug Life glasses music, but it, you know, I don't want to overdo it. It's been quite a while since we did one of these, so I wanted to show you 10 3D printed things or items that I have around my house that, that you hopefully haven't seen before. Like, like this one, or this, or him, this, 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 this. But today I, I'm showing you 10 practical 3D prints. Okay, two of them is pretty useless. I'm gonna show you about eight useful 3D prints. Okay, so usually my, my workbench was a clutter of SD cards, USB sticks, hard drives, cables, notes, you name it. And this organizer just, just helps me out. And this organizer box I put on top of my computer, so I have great accessibility and yeah, it just keeps the desk very, very clean. So let's see what we have in here. We have a hard drive and a cable. I have uh, two SD card readers in here, SD cards, USB sticks and notes. And a hard drive, once again. Well, SSD. Printed on the TiVo Delta with PLA and I believe the entire print was about 10 hours. So a very big print, but very useful. Yesterday we had a beautiful winter landscape here, but it all melted away. So I actually just wanted to show you these 3D printed hooks that I have in here in this little shed. But I also have them all around the house actually. And they are su surprisingly strong. You can hang anything on them. Okay, so let's try this jet powered water thing. I've already tested this, so I know it will work. But just for demonstration, just take a look at that. I mean, that's that's some heavy stuff. I wonder if it will hold my weight. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. So these little things, if you get a good look at them, uh, are lifesavers. So I, I would rarely have earbuds that fit my ear perfectly. So whenever I would go out for a run, they would either pop out completely or just slide out to the point where they would still be in the ear, but the audio would be all rubbish. So now I just connect these little, little tabs around my ear and pop the earbud in and I can al almost like adjust the tension so I can get the earbud to fit very nicely in the ear. I mean this is honestly a lifesaver so take a look at this. You know they are I mean they are really on there you cannot like it's not gonna pop out when you're running I basically use them every time I'm going for a run and I mean, what are we saying? Like 20 minutes of printing? Yes, absolutely perfect. So anyone, anyone with a, a GoPro should have a 3D printer. I couldn't tell you how many times I have been using a 3D printer to make you know, any mounts basically for a GoPro. I've done, I've done uh, tripods, uh, flexible filament to make it less vibrating, you know, um, you know, mouth mount, uh, extended arms, uh, cases. Um, this is an adapter for, for uh, actually the DSLR with the Rode mic. I made this little adapter for the microphone. Uh, one more extended arm. This specific uh, mount is actually for 
Uh, well, it's basically just a general clamp mount, but it can be mounted on... Okay, I'm gonna remove these. It can be mounted on something like a skateboard. A GoPro and a 3D printer should come in the same kit. Okay, this next one I, I will have to show you in action because... Well, it, first of all, it's, it's one of the not so useful prints. But I think it's cool enough to, to show you. Okay, the, the hype is unreal, the build up has been done, here we go. It's a, a, a book stand on... Okay, so some of you might not even see what it is, but it's actually Rick going, to, uh, going through a portal and this is just a stand. Well, it's a, it's a book stand, that, that's what it is. Okay, let's take it to the garage and I will show you how I, how I made it. So, I don't think this was actually supposed to be a Rick and Morty figure. Um, but basically we have a stand, I 3D printed this and not in black, but actually in gold. And uh, this is just a black base I, I painted using some paint. Uh, and the portal looks like this and this is the original uh, PLA. And I just made the paint job. And honestly it looks kind of terrible. And here we have Rick and it just pops together. It's, it's just one of those funny things, right? It's borderline useless in terms of, you know, having it in this video, but I, I thought it was looking pretty cool, so. Magnetic phone holder, absolutely one of my favorite prints and this was the one you could see me build in the beginning of the videos. So first of all, you can adjust the length and, and the angle of all these arms. You have um, little screws you can adjust and they notch into each other. It's a little hard to show you, but they notch into each other. So it's super strong and you know, it's not gonna skip any steps. But basically how this works is by a magnetic base on the bottom. So the magnetic base you can attach to something like the hard steel tool holder or the computer. And this part is uh, where the magic happens. So inside here, but inside here we have three magnets and then I attached. So this is a question if you actually wanna do this, uh, but I have a small hard steel plate right here that I attached to the case. So the, the actual phone is fine. Like the, the actual phone is fine. Uh, all you do is super glue a hard steel plate to your case to this magnetic uh, pocket. And it's actually pretty strong. You can still, you can shift the phone to, to upright position and uh, I almost dropped it. Fairly strong. So you put the base on something magnetic like this and then you can take your phone and just put it right on there. And it's actually, you know, quite stable. And then you can grab the phone, no problem. And then you can just attach it just like normal. It's actually really useful, I have to say. I, and I use this a lot in uh, front of the computer. I, I attach this to my computer and then it's, and, and then it's like having a, an extra screen. So I can watch uh, you know, a podcast on here while working on my computer instead of having two split screens. So yeah, I don't know. One of the most useful prints I've ever done actually. Really nice. So what I have done here is put my filament in a plastic bag uh, in combination with these uh, with these uh, tasty balls. So so where is the 3D print you may ask? But well, take a look at this, a 3D printed uh, clip. So instead of just buying 10 of these for 50 cents, I now used filament worth 25 cents to print one. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that here. So, you know I got two electric skateboards. And I don't want to have these batteries attached or inserted in the skateboard during these, these uh, long-term storage winter times. So, so, I made the simplest of holders for the batteries. You know, it takes 20 minutes in Fusion 360 to sketch up and two hours of printing. And, you know, it helps with organization and, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space just keeps the garage well organized and now you know where to put the batteries. And you can even choose the colors and do like customized designs, which is over and nice.
So, I had these old hard drives that were uh, thrown around, you know, it didn't have a good place and, and I was afraid to damage the connector and uh, I found this protection box. So this definitely goes along the, the storage protection uh, kind of pile. A, a super simple 3D print just to keep your hard drives a little bit more safe, right? It actually broke. So, <laughs> so here is the top and it's now actually a hole right in it. This, um, the last one is still a work in progress and I haven't found much use to it, but I can imagine some of you will. And it's just an adapter. And it's an adapter for a paint roller. So what you do is you insert the adapter and then you attach it to a power drill. Okay, so the paint roller is now filled of paint and what you do is you take it in a bucket like this so you start spinning it on the high setting so the centrifugal force forces all the paint out of the roller and then you actually have to clean out the bucket which that alone is, is quite a pain but then you do the same thing again but now in water and, and that just removes all the paint so when you dry it you will end up with a nice furry uh, kind of paint roller once again. It worked really well but I don't see a lot of use with it but I guess some of you will actually find this very useful. Okay, so let's rank this to the very useful stuff to not so very useful stuff. Um, I would say the iPhone, uh, sorry, the, the phone holder, not sponsored by iPhone, goes in the top. Now obviously the Rick Portal rockets right to the top and, uh, and these Actually, these earbuds was uh, was probably the, the most useful. I would say the GoPro mounts, just in general, I mean, they, they save you so much money. And, um, well, I would put this right there. Um, oh, we got a lot of stuff. Okay, so the hooks and, and the battery holder, I think, it, they are in the same genre. So they, they come next to each other. Now we have the protection, uh, protector case for the hard drive, the, the uh, whatever that's called, the roller cleaner, and lastly, the, the clip, I would say. Yeah, that's all my 10 3D prints I have around my house, and uh, yeah, let me know if you found any of these actually useful. Okay, I will see you again very, very soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.